everyone it's Carlos here on my body my experiment and uh, yeah today's rainy day well, that's not what I'm here to talk about I'm here to talk about this book that I I read it's the book that's called the power of discipline and uh, I'll give you guys a review on it. The book is saying, but when your mind is telling you that you're tired and it's time to quit, it's it's the forty percent rule they call it. That means you still have sixty percent left in you when when your mind is telling you that you're tired. So you can push that much harder, a little bit more extra. Everyone goes through different things in life, as I have in the past, and. Uh, You'll be surprised. This book will, will touch on those kind of things. They're like you, it's very relatable. This book, and it's I think it's a great read. Even even talks about like a, a reward system that you can use. You know how when we were kids, when you get a good grade on the test, you'd look forward to that sticker that says "Great job" or has some character on it that's giving you the thumbs up. Uh, it's like little things like that. Like since we're engraved as us as kids that uh makes us feel good right this here is one of those things that makes me feel good being uh, in nature i know it's raining but that's also another thing that they talk about in the book put yourself in circumstances where you feel uncomfortable uh even though it's you know like sometimes you need that to break through the power of writing things down you say you're gonna do something you know what if you really want uh, want to stick to it, write it down. Like I find in the past couple weeks, actually, I've been writing everything down. I plan out my week. I say this week I'm going to do this. This week I'm going to do that. Like the, the Monday I'm going to go go to the gym. I'm going to do uh, leg day. Uh, Tuesday I'm going to, uh, and I also write on on it. Uh, I am go I'm going to be doing 30, 60 minutes of cardio every day, uh, whether it be hiking, whether it be walking, and also. I plan my like I just plan out the week, but you write it down. I find that so key, so important, because as as the week goes by, you go checking off what you have uh, what you have accomplished, and you're feeling good about yourself. Like today, basically the last last day of of the week. Today's Saturday. I use Sunday as a rest day because I I do something every every day. Today was hike day, and it's calling for rain all day. You know, I was like, is that going to stop me? Like, like I, I could have easily said, you know, I want to stay at home. Like, there's nobody out here hiking over here on these trails. It's all muddy and stuff. But what you got to do is just dress for the conditions. Get yourself ready. And big deal. I'm going to get rained on. But I'm protected, you know, with waterproof gear. And I have hiking uh, boots. And I have my pal here and my, my girl, Willow. Keeping me company. She's a little tangled up right now. Let me get her all tangled up. Here, Willow, let me get you tangled up. I'm tangled. Okay. There you go. But yeah, she keeps me company and she also motivates me, you know, to take these walks all the time and go for hikes, man. It's <clears throat> it's amazing. It's amazing what you know it's that's another thing, you know, it's to motivate you like you have not only a push but a reason to get out because it's it's healthy for the dog and the dog needs it and it's uh it's good for yourself at the same time it's peace of mind look at this beautiful nature you know i love i love nature and i love being in hikes where you're surrounded by nature and you're away from everything you know away from traffic away from noise but it's just i don't know it's something i have a passion for and I just love it. I'm just being here in nature. But back to the book, guys. Give it a read. I give, I give it a... There are some things in, in the book that I have to say that I already knew, right? But at the same time, there's other things that, you know, they give you some great ideas, right? Because this this, this uh, author, uh, I think it's Daniel Walter, he, uh, from his experiences in his, uh, his uh, books he's read, people he's talked to, He's, he's combined this book into uh, into one, and uh, he did a great job of it because uh, it, it touches on a lot of different things that it relates to everybody. Everybody can relate to this, this book. 
So, and I, and I think, uh, I think you'll be happy with that. I give it a, a I give it a what? Four and a half stars out of five. <laughs> Four and a half stars. It's a, it's a good book. I like that. I enjoyed it. I read straight through. It took me a, a week to read it. I'm sure other people will take even faster to read it, but because I'm not a, I'm not a reader. But once you get into a book and you enjoy it, you'll read it from the beginning to the end. And I enjoyed the book. I read it all the way to the end. And I think you guys should too. But uh, yeah, it's a great read, guys. Uh, you'll definitely relate. And he gives you some great tips on how uh, to control your discipline, to make sure that you stick with it, you reach your goals, and you, and you're successful. You know. And uh, take out take out some ideas from that book. You know, I'd recommend. Uh, if you want to highlight some points or even write some points down as you go along so you remember it's a good idea but that's my review guys i hope that you enjoy the book i hope you enjoy this video this nature all around i hope hope you just <laughs> have fun with your day admit to make to stick to your goals you got to make it enjoyable to stay healthy you got to make it enjoyable it can't be the gym all the time. It can't be hitting the weights all the time. You got to do things that just just make you come alive. And this makes me come alive. Hiking in this nature. You know, I love it. Just the smell. Just the, the peace and quiet. The, just, I love it, guys. And till next time, get up and never give up.